Um, I think we all heard that at one point. Uh, I don't pay it no mind. It's not my coach, so I really don't pay it no mind when I hear it from the outside. Coach said he kind of told you that that's your role as a point guard. Tyshawn went through it. You know, Sharon went through it. Do you kind of embrace that, that as a leader? Maybe you can take some of it so the other guys don't have to? Uh, yeah. At one point when we were playing great, Coach said that uh, he felt like my stats reflected on our record and not my stats. So I, I agree with him on that. And uh, when we start losing, of course, people should bash me because I'm the point guard and fall back on me and him. I'm feeling real good right now, like I've never had a problem with my knees. Cheddar got me feeling uh, better than I felt in a long time, but uh, I don't feel like my knees or anything ever really affected my play. Is this the best basketball you've played the last couple of weeks? I mean, yeah, obviously. It shows in, in my stats, but uh, I think it's going to get better. Relationship with Coach Self grown or changed since you got here four years ago? Uh, it grew a little bit, but I think it's a distance relationship. Um, usually, he he rides players that he feel like he needs to ride. He kind of just let me be, kind of let me just go on my lonesome. Sometimes we'll go to whole practice and he won't say nothing to me, uh, whether I'm messing up or not. So uh, I, I feel like that's the best way for him to get to me. And uh, pretty much every thought he having, I'm having. And I, I feel like I don't want to say I'm the first point guard. He's had like that, but I definitely feel special in that way, uh, just knowing what, what he's thinking most of the time and, and how he feels about things before it even happened. Is that one of his strengths, kind of knows whose buttons to push and kind of how he manages people? Yeah, it's just like a point guard. you got to know who to yell at and who not to. I know to run up and yell at Jamari. I know to kind of just give Perry a stare, and uh, I learned it from him, so to speak. You mentioned that there's more left in your tank, so to speak. There's only a month left of college basketball. So is there, do you place some more pressure on yourself maybe to kind of do this, carry this team? No, nah, what's in the tank's in the tank. I'll be on empty by the end of this season. So, I mean, whatever comes out, comes out. No pressure on me. Just have fun. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt, I think he's the leader of the team. He's a point guard on this team. And, I mean, when he has a good day, we have great days. And, uh... His attitude has been awesome, and uh, he's been playing great, and I think, I think we all do feed off of that. What's changed about him that's allowed him to play a lot better in these past few games than he had been earlier in the season? Um, I just think he stopped worrying about everything going on, and he's just starting to play ball. I mean, he's, he's feeling better, and I think all the treatments are starting to pay off. Kevin, this is your last road game. Has it felt like this year maybe more than even last year that – Road environments were a little bit more angry, more hostile. Did it seem like teams were really kind of felt like maybe they would have their number this year? Um, after we lost three games, yeah. Um, but I think that uh, the the road games have been fun. I mean, they they have been hostile, but I think it's been pretty much the same though.